This school is the Jordan L. Mott Middle School, and it is located in the poorest congressional district in the nation. We're 100% free lunch, a Title I school. The kids that come to us at 22 have a lot of struggles outside of the building. You're in the South Bronx, and you need to know what that means. You need to know where these children are coming from. You need to know their backgrounds. You need to know their experiences so that you know best how to serve them. Well, what it's like to teach here is um, it's a struggle and however it has a sweet story at the end. So today we got a jam-packed day. There's tons of stuff today. So we've talked a lot about different ways that we could reduce runoff and so today I want to start with reviewing that. So what are some of the things that we talked about different ways to reduce runoff? What could we do? This program is an attempt to expose young we people to the STEAM professions, science, technology, engineering, art, architecture, and math focused, giving them an opportunity to learn about the careers and in a sense that they could pursue these careers. I think this club is pretty awesome. We get to do hands-on fun stuff while learning at the same time. What do you recommend? It's been fun, a lot of fun, building stuff. I like the hands-on activities because I'm a kinesthetic learner. I get to make things. I consider myself an engineer. This program is highly effective at cultivating curiosity in these kids. Such a great potential for kids to get a sense of their own efficacy and their power around things. You're going to see kids who are engaged. You're going to see hands-on experiential learning happening. But what does that mean here? That means you're breaking through cultural norms to really enhance and empower these kids in the learning experience. So what's going to happen is that today you're going to create a green roof on your model city. You will have 15 minutes to create that. This is the uh, two buildings. And right here, we're going to put another building. So this way, like when y'all spray the water on it, it absorbs most of the water. I put some soil in the sand. I put some gravel. I think it is gonna work because it's gonna be absorbing all the water, so then it won't go inside the river. I like it. So we said that the dawn soap was gasoline. We said that the green food coloring was toxic waste. The sprinkle was cold. She just destroyed our model. Count with me. One, two. Three, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hallelujah! I don't see no runoff. I don't see no runoff. This is our engineering design process. Remember, guys, we, we were introduced since the first day of class, and it's been on the board to kind of help us every day, every project that we work on. What can you guys point out that we use today for Fredo? We plan, we tested, and we communicated. Those are great points. I understand more in my regular science class because of this. It's something that people use in everyday life even if they don't notice that they're using it. So today's the Young Engineers Program Showcase. The idea was to be able to let the children express and be able to articulate to a larger group exactly what they've learned. We're here to celebrate the success and achievements of our MS-22 scholars and our pilot middle school engineering program. It's empowering these children because it's allowing them to think of themselves as engineers. If they can't see themselves in those careers, they don't pursue them. They don't even think about them because they don't know that they exist. They're thinking about their future now. You don't hear that conversation or see that in the students that are not part of this program. Really good work. Look at wow. how clean the water is still. You guys did a wonderful job. It's just amazing, actually, to watch the impact that the DDC STEAM program has on our kids. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, the most fun I had was basically learning how to communicate and improve our society. I'm incredibly proud of what they accomplished, and I think they have, have a sense of fulfillment. It's clear that it opened up this whole new perspective of what life is like and what possibilities can be. There's a dire, dire need for stakeholders to come together and really provide this kind of experience for the children. If we can get them to understand that the design process is a way of life, then we've done something.